Hey everybody, uh, this video is how to properly button mash using a third party controller. Now, uh, some of you gamers out there might have noticed that when you're doing a button mash, you know, like in uh, God of War, uh, I'm talking first God of War, I'm a retro gamer, but like in the first God of War and Metal Gear Solid, um, there's these insane button mashing sequences, and if you have a regular PlayStation controller, uh, it's not so bad, but for some reason these third-party controllers, which are wonderful, I, I only use third-party controllers, for some reason the button mashing doesn't really uh, register as fast, so some of those finger tapping moves, you know, the stuff like that, or even holding it and pushing the controller... You know, sometimes that just, even though no matter how fast you go, sometimes it just doesn't really register because the third party controller, it just doesn't have the same tech. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the exact same results with a third party controller um, and button mashing. So here, we'll just get right into it. This isn't going to be too hard. This is, some people call it the uh, pen technique. Uh, I use a plastic reusable straw. You can use whatever you want. You can use this or you can use a pen. I just, I had this lying around and I used it when I was revisiting Metal Gear Solid 1 recently and it worked fine. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Basically, think of it kind of like, um, kind of like when you, with your lips, when you take your finger and you, you rub it across your lips while you, think of it like that. Think of the button as your lips and think of this as your finger. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of place it a side of the button and then in slow motion it's gonna look like this and you're just gonna go back and forth like that but of course we're gonna go really fast so it's gonna be like and what's great about that low strain and almost machine gun rate button pushing you know, so I guarantee you, um, like I said, I'm a retro gamer, so I had actually just picked up Metal Gear Solid 1 recently, and uh, I just could not believe that torture sequence. That was insanity. And, you know, I, I don't have real controllers. I only buy these third-party controllers because, I mean, try buying a PS3 controller in 2022, you know, with, you have to go online or something, and I'm just... I'm old school. I like going to actual stores and buying my stuff. So, you know, <laughs> that's a nice way of saying I'm a cheapskate and that I'm impatient. So the only problem is with third-party controllers is, you know, just the button mashing, you know, just... That might be fast, you know. Um, that might be fast, but at the same time, for some reason, these third-party controllers just don't register it. Um, I don't think there's a problem with third-party controllers. If for some reason, the button mashing doesn't work as well as regular ones. And this isn't the only third-party controller. I'm not going to, like, talk about the brand or anything. Um, they're all kind of the same. I've used multitudes of third-party controllers. They're fine, except for the button mashing. And that's a problem when you want to, you know, if you're playing a game and you just really, you know, uh, I look at games for historical context, you know, like... Metal Gear Solid 1, I just, I had never played it as a kid because when it was out, it was rated M for Mature, and I was too young, so, you know, I didn't play it until recently. Um, so yeah, just make sure, uh, make sure you get something, you know, round, and, uh, you know, it's, it's gotta be hard. It's not gonna mess up your button. People say it messes up your button, but, I mean, the thing is, if you look closely, you know, I gotta get in focus, but, like... It's kind of got like a round edge to it. And so all you got to do. Oh, yeah. And you're, and you're golden. And you will win. Uh, the first time. I'm, ta I'm not even talking like the second time or the third time. The first time I tried this trick on uh, the Metal Gear Solid 1 torture sequence, um, I had full health bar by the very, very, very... Like, okay, maybe not full health bar, but almost full health bar by the very last of the four torture sequences. Um, so yeah, it works great. If you have one of these like mine that have these kind of, this kind of flat ridge on it, that's really awesome because then what you can do is you can actually use that ridge to help you out. You can kind of, 
you don't have to go all the way across it that way. You can kind of just... Oh, yeah. It worked great, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day.